Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do um, a general, but we're going to do the mutable signs this time for physical healing, health, and inspiration. Any tangible to do's that spirit may have for you. We'll start with Gemini, Sag, Pisces, and then Virgo. I'll timestamp in the description box for you guys. Okay, let's go. All right, Gemini, let's see what spirit has for you regarding physical health. So take this as it resonates. This will be for your sun, your moon, and your rising, all right? You have, a little closer for you, 111 on the light side. Uh, manifestations quickly, having good intentions, following your intuition, thoughts create reality, a reassurance or a heads up. Okay. Maybe something you've been manifesting for your physical health may be coming to fruition and to keep going forward. You also have gold, prosperity, abundance, solar energy. So maybe it has something to do with the sun for your physical health. Maybe that's what's needed. Um, masculine energy, maybe doing more masculine energy healing with regards to your physical, okay? Um, I'm also seeing things you could be doing that may require funds um, or may actually give you ideas of what projects you can do that can be successful and earn abundance and prosperity in the future as well. So you may be learning something. Hmm. Okay. Let's see from the life purpose Oracle, what you get. Let's see if there's any other ideas or things that spirit can suggest at this time for you. So if there's something you've been thinking about, do it. Oh, I see here. Solar plexus energy healing might be needed. So anything that has a lot to do with your physical health regarding your solar plexus would be good at this time. Let's get one more. Okay. So I see here we have strength. Okay. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. We also have healer and a desire to share it with others. You have the spiritual gift of healing, okay? I'm also seeing medical on there too, so you might want to go see a physician, okay? Maybe get a general checkup and see what's going on. Talk to your angels instead of worrying. Ask for divine guidance. Again, with that tapping into your intuition and trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. And in this case, to guide whatever physical healing you need at this time. Maybe there's something that's popping up in your dreams, too, that can give you a clue as to what this may be for you. With that crystal ball, I'm really seeing more of a bubble, like bubble bath. Or maybe something as simple as that. More of those physical self-care practices. Let's see what else we can pull from some of these decks. Probably make this easier. Yeah, there we go. That's better. We'll have more space. All right, let's get a few. One more. There we go. You have Meerkat. Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. So you may be actually um, doing things, something in a group capacity. Okay with others. This could be classes, you know, seminars, that sort of thing. Various activities. You have Peacock. Let yourself stand out and be noticed. Maybe it's something where a stage is involved. I could see that. Platypus. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. Maybe something you'll be extremely happy and grateful for that's super joyous for you. It would feel like a blessing, right? Camel, trust that you have the resources to get you through the challenges before you. Okay, so it's already available at your disposal, okay? Let's pull a few from the mermaid's deck, see if there's anything else regarding physical health spirit for Geminis. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> wow, these cards have been coming up quite a bit. So you may want to check the other placements as well. This is the only new one. You have acceptance. There you go. This is just trusting, going with the flow, okay? Sort of taking a content, relaxed vibe. Doing a little R&R, &R, resting up when you need to, okay? Think spa day. I always think spa day when I see this card. You also have breaking free. Perhaps doing some sort of um, energy clearing. Uh, cutting cords. Calling energy back. Um, doing maybe even a little bit of shadow work to combat that as well more freer feeling ex and exercises or activities, right? Maybe something more out in the open, more nature-based, right? Then you have Dive Deep here, which also does talk about that shadow work, right? Uh, conquering fears. It also is a card of literal going for a swim. So you swimming may be important to you at this time, okay? Just getting in water, right? And moving around in water even if that's like a hot tub or a bathtub right like just getting your body moving within the water while you're submerged and we'll get a few from Izzy Steph too any other clues all right <laughs> okay <laughs> all right now, you have gains here, and I really see that as, okay, I'm just checking to see if that'll fit. All right. And I'm seeing that as just working towards goals, right? Like you're working slowly but surely to get ahead, and you're going to have reap some really good abundant rewards for it. Okay, so this would be something like um, in terms of physical health, maybe you're changing your diet, and it's going to take a while for you to see the results, right? Or you're trying to drop that last five pounds. So it'll take some effort and some work. You know, you'll definitely have to climb up these stairs to do it, right? But you'll have an increase and in gain regarding how it will make you feel because your health will be better and you'll lose that five pounds, right? You have trust me. So trust the process. I'm trying to see if I can fit it on there for you. <laughs> Here, we'll just do that. Okay. That's a little better. Not too much, but um, we have trust me here. So this is the universe just kind of letting you know everything. Just keep things in balance, right? Don't go too crazy in one aspect or another. Just keep everything to work, love, life, physical life in balance, okay? So if you're trying to work on a few things, just keep it evenly keeled and have some sort of um, routine to go with it. That is something that you know you can manage, right? You may be doing activities. That get you traveling locally. Okay, I see that. You might also just be working really hard at um, uncovering some of those shadows behind whatever issues you're trying to tackle in the physical, right? With regards to your physical health, okay? Then this bitch is crazy came out, so keep your emotions in check. But I really also just see that this is like relaxing on the beach <laughs> and just doing you, right? So that could be a form of self-care for you. Maybe not at the beach, but just like just being out in nature and just hanging out for a minute. You know what I mean? Like sitting there in the sun. You do have solar here as well, so that could be that. Could be something just relaxing and chillaxing by the poolside, right? Even if you don't want to swim. So we're going to pull a few from New Orleans Oracle. See what else comes up. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. First one out, you have 18 peace. Just maintaining that mind, body, soul alignment, right? Like in keeping everything peaceful, joyous, not stressing too much, managing any anxieties that come along, okay? You have music healing. Healing music's going to be healing at this time for you as well. So it could be activities involving healing with music. I'm also seeing dance there as well. Dance may be significant of some kind or another, whether it's just slow moving movement dances, low impact dance, 
um, or just groove into your favorite songs, you know, in, in your house, in your socks. <laughs> Something that simple. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But I also see, too, like, it's support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Maybe you want, want to go out to the club or something and go dancing. I can see that happening. You know, just, like, let loose for a little bit in a social setting, right? You also have 28 flow. Just going with the flow again. Again with the water healing. Um, I'm also seeing flame as well. So maybe it also might be really relaxing to either be in the sun, right? Like, sunbathe a little bit. Um, of course, you know, wear your sunscreen and all that, you know, just to protect yourself, you know, um, if you can do that or even under the moonlight, cause I see the moon there as well. Maybe a bonfire or something. Fire is going to be important somehow. Maybe there's a physical activity involving fire as well. I'm thinking those, um, fire dancers. Oh my God. It just clicked. <laughs> Fire dancers, that, because that's exactly what I was picturing, too. Oh, my goodness. So maybe that's an activity you want to try. You know, but it doesn't have to be that. You know, it could be something similar to that, right? Um, involving, you know, those two elements specifically, water and fire. You know, you're going to have to be near water anyway with that kind of task. Along with music and sound. In a social setting. You have the resources to get you through it. So there's something local to you that you could be doing. It may cost a little bit. You do have that money aspect for the gold there. But maybe there are resources that can work with it. Maybe you'll meet a new friend that would want to flip the bill on that and do that activity with you because no one else will. And it'll be hugely helpful for your growth too, your spiritual growth. Okay, you have the patience card, something you have to work through, get rooted by, get grounded. Nature is going to be important, planting ideas, maybe just doing even meditations outside may even give you ideas, bursting new ideas. That's what I see with those rabbits. Um, something that might connect you. Maybe there's an activity from your heritage that might be something you could connect with right now that'll be good for your physical health as well as your spiritual growth and getting into that peace mode, right? The next card I do see is 26, Awakening. So this may be preparing you for next level spiritual upgrade too. So um, you may need to get rooted and grounded for that as well just to be able to receive some downloads on what to do next. But go with the flow, right? Acceptance too. And maybe the universe is going to bring you exactly to where you need to be, right? Just by you getting out. All right, so let's get a few from our ancestor spirit here for more ideas here. Anything else for Gemini's physical health? Try and pile it on as much as possible. Okay. <laughs> First one that had come out is notice the signs, investigate symbols and nature spirits. So definitely being out in nature, there might be signs and synchronicities out there for you. You have interact and relate community, family and traditions. Okay, so maybe that goes in line with, with um, <laughs> I'm gonna stick that over here. Goes in line with uh, maybe tapping into your roots, right? For some some activities that are physical that'll help your physical being. Okay. Have courage, solar plexus, okay? Strength, fearlessness, and warrior. You do have strength right here, too, and the solar plexus might need to be healed through this process. All right. You also have connect with water, all right? Ocean, water, spirits, and hydrate. Okay, I'm going to actually need that. Laugh and have fun. So maybe there's some comedic activities in the process as well. Smile, positive energy, and joyfulness. And 
Respect your physical body. Detox, rejuvenate, and relax. Okay. So let's see what areas of life you could be looking towards for some ideas as to what to do or where to go. I'm going to use the Kipper for that. We're going to do four, four individual scenarios. Okay. You have card number eight, false person. We'll get to that in a second. Because that could be being honest with self. That could be not wearing masks. Right? Being honest about your needs or about the people around you. Like being careful of the people around you. Um, it's the lying, cheating, stealing, being an authentic card for me. So I'm trying to think how it would be applicable for physical health, right? There could be things in your environment that might be toxic that you want to clean out, okay? That could be a two. That could be the breaking free, all right? And that will help your physical being so much by doing that. One more spirit. All right. Next card up, you have 24 thievery. So yeah, maybe there's some energy vampire persons, places, situations, things that are around you that need to go that are actually depleting your energy and uh, creating... A chain reaction that ultimately affects you physically like stress manifests into things like dementia and and uh, Alzheimer's okay it affects your cortisol hormone and then that's that's when everything goes wacky with your mental so um, and your brain is part of your physical being so that is an important thing to kind of keep on point as well at this time so whatever's in your situation that's stealing from you essentially of your essence and your vital life force that is also causing strain on your body that would be something to cleanse out okay you could be working with or hanging out with a main female or you could be a main female this is a middle-aged woman for me i also see this as the empress in this deck as well okay so maybe there's some mothering some nurturing some sacral chakra love as well you have 29 which breaks down to an 11 the prison I do want to clarify that because that could be a mental thing. That could also indicate that you need to go outside, right? Like you've been stuck indoors too much. Yeah, perhaps in a home situation with a marriage, okay? That was clarified by that. And you just need to take a break from, you know, the wifey or the hubby, right? <laughs> Maybe you've been around each other too long and it's time to go out. Go outside. <laughs> do your thing, right? Go make new friends. You've been around, you've been around the mate too long, around the pad too long, right? Then hold up. Okay. So final guidance from the Doggo Tarot. Let's see if there's anything else we can talk about. Alright, let's see here. Spirit for Gemini, final guidance. And I will read mostly from the book. This deck has different stuff going on for it. You do have two cups in the reverse, okay? So whatever's been heartbreaking that's been stressful, okay? Um, that could also just be I'm not choosing self-love, right? I also see that twos are about choices, and the cups could easily about be about love for yourself, and it's time to start giving back to self, right? Let's see. Imbalance, disharmony, lack of communication, jealousy, and selfishness. A relationship that has gone off course is something that everyone has struggled with at one time or another. We'll work on communication and honesty and examine your compatibility. If there is an imbalance somewhere, look at your options. It could just be that one person's take, 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 one person's give, 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 and that is where the reciprocity needs to balance out somewhere. So maybe by removing yourself from a situation, perhaps if you are stuck at home, held up at home with whoever. And this could be a roommate. This could be a, this could be family. This could be anybody that you live with, right? Like maybe it's just your general household. It's any relationship, right? This could even be a work imbalance as well. 
that has just been very emotionally taxing. I'm just going to say that, okay? Um, you would need to kind of break free from it, all right, a little bit, just to get your own independence and recover, okay? You're going to be in recovery mode, and it's going to affect you physically in a positive way doing so. Water is huge, and earth is huge. Lots of earth and water and some fire, okay? So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of those elements, um, and they may be hugely helpful at this time for you, okay? There you go, Gemini. Have a good one. Check your other placements. Bye. All right, now on to Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see what your physical health needs to do's are. Let's advise spirit at this time. I'm going to get a couple from the signs and sinks for overall. We have four. Okay. <laughs> we have black and white feather. Change is coming, so you're going to have to change things up. There's some changes needed at this time. You have 111 on the shadow side being overly demanding, okay? So maybe there's just too much put into one area of your physical being, right, at this time, and you need to switch it up a little bit, right? You could be needing to do an energy cleanse of your entire aura with regards to your physical being, so the main seven, right? Or work on inner childhood wounds. Um, Reevaluate your priorities for self-love. You might be doing too much in one spot and not enough in another. Fears may have something to do with it. Shadow work may be needed. Obstacles to clear out might be required. You also have the color orange. So this could be things that might be stressing you out or fearful regarding certain things. But I'm really seeing energy stimulation. Maybe there's been some stagnancy and it's just feeling out of balance at the moment. Not enough optimism. Not enough, you know, thinking before acting. And perhaps there's a lot of overcompensation as a result. Uh, creativity, doing something creative might be helpful for your physical being at this time. This is also the color of your sacral chakra. So any sacral chakra oriented physical healing you can do would be good. Dance is especially feminine, so that would be a good one. Success, contracts, justice, legal matters, career, luck, and networking. I'm also saying maybe you might have to work with other people, right? There may be some applications or subscriptions you need to sign a contract for. So if like if you're going to the gym, for example, a gym membership would be an example of that, okay? You also have 888 on the shadow side. Be weary of spending too much, okay? That could be also the balance as well, right? Or just having too many extra things. It could be that your space is physically cluttered, okay? And this would be a good time to do some spring cleaning. It will get you physically moving and move all the energy in your home and your space, okay? It's time to realign your mind, body, and soul. So it could also indicate putting others down. So that could be energies around you that's stressing you out, right? And stress will manifest physically anyway. So this is all for your tangible to-dos here, things to consider, all right? Let's see what else Spirit has for you at this time. Changes coming now. Okay. You might even get ideas as to what kind of career you want through this as well. I'm seeing that. Okay. Let's get one more. All right, one more. There we go. First card out, you have... Heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. And we have a little spider here. Hi, honey. <laughs> Just stay there. <laughs> I don't want you smushed. Career change. You're embarking upon a career that brings you joy and abundance you desire. So whatever these physical activities are may lead you to that. Just checking on her. Study, reading, research, education might help. You might have to look into some things first before you embark on a physical activity, okay? And that would be true, too, if you're changing your diet or doing a different exercise regimen. You might want to check with your doctors about that or maybe look into various options for diets because there's so many different kinds, and you may want to blend them, mix them up a little bit. Hold on a sec. I'm going to rescue her. Sorry about that. She was this teeny little thing. I was going to like smash her on accident. Didn't want to do that. So I just moved her to the floor. She'll be fine. 
You have leadership. Take charge of the situation. Okay. And family. Maybe this is something you can do with family members or friends that are really close to you. Okay. Maybe there's some activities here that you can do with them. All right. I've come a long way with the spider thing. I used to be arachnophobic too. I wouldn't normally do that. I'd be like, ah, smash it. Now I'm just like, no, we're living, we're coexisting now. She was just so tiny. Itty bitty, itty bitty little thing. She might've been a baby wolf spider. I'm thinking that's what she is. We have a lot of those around here. They're kind of jumpers, but they're super tiny and they're harmless. And they get rid of the bugs. So I'm okay with them. If they're tiny, they can be in my house. The second they get big, I'm like, nope, you go outside. <laughs> There's bigger stuff out there for you to eat. There's nothing, barely anything in here. All right. One more. Let's get some animals, spirits. Anything else, spirit? We have goose, take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing striving. So do take regular breaks. You may be tempted to go overboard, right? You know, be overly demanding on your body, All right? Anything else, Spirit? Okay. We also have meerkat, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. So maybe group activities, perhaps family and friends there, okay? Mouse, you're overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what's going on. Okay, so don't generally look. Don't just objectively, but also subjectively look around, okay? There's something close to you that you would normally overlook that would be super helpful for your physical state at this time, okay? Something that's already in your immediate environment. Okay. Let's get some from the mermaids. Anything else, Spirit? So a full round of pull here, so it comes out. Okay. You have re-energized, so you may have a, an energetic imbalance, okay? Um, this could be emotional imbalances as well that's causing physical. But this is all, all just getting complete time to realign that mind, body, soul, right? And just re get yourself energized, rest, recuperate, do whatever practices make you feel revived, okay? This is also a card of an energy vampire too. So that could just be an energy around you that you need to disconnect from. But I'm not seeing that with the rest of the cards here. You have love, so you need to impart more self-love as well as love for others too, okay? You do have these group friends here. They might need some assistance. You have hope here. Look on the bright side. Your ships are always on the horizon. <laughs> you just got to look, okay? And you also have another ship on the horizon with the waiting card. So this is actually a choice for you, whether or not you want to go for something, meet it halfway, or wait for the opportunity to come in. So if you see an opportunity, I would just go for it, right? Like, especially for your physical health, all right? If it's something simple you can integrate in your daily practices, doesn't cost much, is safe to do, doctors say it's okay, you know, that kind of thing then do it. You know I mean? Like something as simple as a walking meditation every day. Like you never know until you just get moving and grooving. If you sit around waiting and hoping and praying, you know, it just depends on what your physical goals are, right? Sitting around waiting, hoping and praying to drop 20 pounds and not doing anything isn't going to do it, right? You're going to have to actually get physical for that. Um, but, you know, if you're making changes at home and you still have to wait it out anyway to see how your body responds, that might be something as well here, okay? The re-energize could also just be a warning of energy vampires. So maybe whatever activities you're doing might attract groups of people that would be vampiric in some way, shape, or form, okay? 
there might be competition or or you know some kind of toxic work environment or something right or like clicks at the gym i know sometimes that happens with some gyms and you might have to look around for better options right that mouse tells me that maybe there's something else that's a better option than that so you know if you come across a place that you really really like but you've discovered there's just a lot of catty people there that like to cause drama just know you have other options around you and maybe those are the options you should be going for the fact that these energies were placed there probably means it's not a good thing for you anyway and, you, and then your higher self wants you to do this other thing instead so this would be like rejection is protection right anytime you see this energy vampire behavior okay wherever you're going with your activities say thank you for the blockage clearly we don't want to be there let's go over here instead and just look around okay i'm gonna pull a few from izzy's deck as well okay again with the contracts and here you are Okay, so Sagittarius. <laughs> Contracts would be something like, you know, you'd have to agree for something, right? I did see that somewhere. Oh, yeah, with the orange, orange card there. So there may be like gym membership agreements to sign or something along those lines, right, for your health. Or um, if you're going to see a chiropractor, you're going to have to fill out paperwork and sign some stuff, right? It may be services like that. I'm trying to think if they do that with a massage therapist. <laughs> I don't think they do. <laughs> but any other holistic service like that where that would be required, right? Something known and available and easy to find in the world, okay? It's fame known there's some recognition for it it's taken seriously I also see music here as well and also grounding in nature with that tree okay that could be gardening that could just be planting trees doing some charitable work maybe um, that could be connecting with your heritage to see if there's some physical activity there you can do listening to your ancestors as well something known right all right all right let's see if the book here will be looking good all right you have which is the first one that came out share your gifts so something you already are gifted at right number eight group settings as well could be something physical Maybe teaching something or sharing something. Some kind of physical activity that's good for your body. 30, make a wish. Maybe this is something you've wanted to do. Follow it. Go for it. You also have 26, awakening here. This may actually level you up. Something you've become enlightened to, perhaps. Okay. And number 17, body balance. I'm going to read a little bit about that for you. That's all about balancing your body, right? I think it has some suggestions in here, all right? Aha. Uh -huh. Think of your body as a plant. Just as a plant needs a certain amount of sunlight, water, and a suitable environment in order to grow and be healthy, your body requires proper nourishment in order to thrive. So diet changes, perhaps, okay? Um, getting more sun, drinking more water. Sort of treat yourself like a plant right gardening could also be a thing <laughs> or working with plants at this time might be healthy the balance of the body can be affected not only by what we eat but also by what we think and the surroundings that we find ourselves in right so avoid those situations where you need to like cut the cord on okay this card has shown up it's time to support your body by bringing it into a higher vibration because you might be actually going in next step of ascension as well. During this time, it is recommended that you incorporate more natural and raw foods, such as salads and green juices or smoothies into your diet. Just more of it. 
exploring mind, body, and spirit practices such as yoga, tai chi, or qigong, and spending more time in nature will also help you find the balance that your body craves, okay? It's all there to see if uh, the ancestor spirits have any more suggestion. Sagittarius spirit. So it's all about you. Leveling you up. You're going to be getting the spiritual fame, right? Perhaps it's part of your soul contract at this time as well with the contracts that are there. All right, that's good. We'll do one round of pull, see what comes out. Sagittarius spirit. All right, that's one. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay, that should be good. See what this is. There's a lot. All right. I won't know where to place it all, but we'll we'll see. All right. All right. First one out. You have be an open channel, mediumship, ancestors, and spirits. So let them guide you. Okay. Still be following your intuition. You have nature spirits, elves, fairies, rock formations. Now this is really specific to rock formations as well. Just being in nature and communicating with the divine through nature, basically. But especially around rock formations. So any like uh, rock formation oriented activities. You know, this could be you know cliff diving. This could be. I'm just looking at the waterfall there. Um, this could be rock climbing. This could be just going on a hike, okay, and being around rocky terrain um, is going to be super helpful for you at this time. Remember who you are, culture, resilience, and beliefs, okay? That could tap into that tree energy there, too, with your ancestors. You have answer the call, uh, water, boating, boats in general, maybe it's a little bit of minor travel, kayaking, canoeing, that sort of thing, explore, travel, and live. Maybe try out a new spot you haven't been before that's local to you, okay? That you haven't noticed before, right? Music, okay? Enjoy music, instruments, sound, and tone. Family connections, again, okay? Respect people and kinship. Got a lot of, a lot of suggestions here. I love it. <laughs> All right, shine brightly, stand out, be proud, and individuality. So this could be you just going out and having fun, playing dress up, maybe doing something theatrical, maybe just being weird, having a good time, getting creative. I love these guys. They have their little wig hats that they make themselves in this, in this tribe. And they just do it because they have fun doing it, right? They don't care what they look like. They're sort of the clowns of their, their tribe, right? So there you go. Maybe something to do with clowns. <laughs> All right. You have spirit guides, insight, guidance, and purpose. Okay. You'll be connecting with that as well. Laugh and have fun. Maybe something, an activity that could be playful. An activity that can make you laugh. Okay. Smile, positive energy, and joyfulness. Specifically in a group of people. Um... Think of your inner child, now that I see the inner child, right? Think of the things that your inner child misses doing, right? Do that. Interact and relate, community, family, and traditions, okay? So we're going to pull four from the Kipper, just to get an idea, four different areas of life. Spirit could have you looking in as well for more ideas. First one out, you have, again, with the contracts, uh, collaborations with people, close connections with soul fam, soul mates, and the like, which could be work, love, life. Okay. Could be involving a main female, someone in their 30s, 40s, 50s. Sort of look at this. This is the Empress card as well. So maybe there's some nurturing, mothering kind of energy going on too here. 
What else, Spirit? Ooh. Number 17, a gift. Maybe something related to holidays, anniversaries, birthdays, special occasions. Uh, a card, you know, this is a card of gifting as well as receiving. So maybe, you know, do a little quid pro quo, I guess, with these activities. You know, treat some, treat a group of people to something fun. They'll treat you to something fun and go back and forth on that. Maybe take advantage of special holidays and vacation, you know, special days, special occasion days, right? Here in the U.S. there's quite a few coming up, so take that how it resonates for you, wherever you're at. A lot of little holidays, right? Gift-giving holidays, usually. And the biggest one with love there is Valentine's Day. One more. Although I'm imagining like, you know, when you're in elementary school <laughs> and you're passing out little Valentines to everybody in the class. That's what I'm imagining. Like something fun like that, you know. You have number 11, a lot of money. So lots of happiness. I see that as an abundance card, right? Um, could also mean there might be something to save up for in a group setting. That requires a lot of funds, okay, or a lot of um, resources. I can see that as well. Um, or just time and energy put into it, okay? There might be some big event coming up. That would be absolutely fun and good for your physical health and well-being, okay? Let's get some final guidance from the Doggo Tarot Spirit for Sagittarius. all these different ideas you have the two of cups so working together in harmony okay some balance collaborations that just make you extremely happy that are good for your self-care as well could also be a card of having choices with self-care okay so that could be a lot of things depending on what your your resources are okay take it how it resonates let's see where is it Partnership, love, balanced relationships, unity, commitment, equality, support, and magnetism. Okay. Your heart may soon be filled by a relationship of balance, harmony, and love. It could mean friendship, a business partnership, or maybe romances in the air. Although based on family and friends, I'm thinking it has more to do with that, right? <laughs> this is a relationship based on loving support and commitment to each other. This union is strong and nurturing. There's your empress. It could be with your mom or it could be with your kids if you're a mom <laughs> or a dad. Okay, you could be the empress dad. <laughs> and has magnetic attraction. Soulmate for sure. All right. This is a relationship that can grow with time and become very important in your life. Okay. So there you go, Sagittarius. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Follow your other placements. Bye. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see what Spirit suggests for you regarding your physical health, healing, maybe some inspiration, whatever tangible to-dos you can do. Let's see what pops up. Pull a couple from the, the Signs and Sinks deck. All right. First one out, you have the color yellow. Yellow is the color of your solar plexus, so you might need to work on that. Air element, intelligence, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Check wherever in your chart for that to get more ideas. Uh, your memory. So definitely some upper chakra work as well. Um, balancing your energy out will really assist with the physical if you're having some memory issues. Divination might be helpful at this time to help with that, actually. Um, happiness, positivity, eloquence. Mental blockages, okay, so do what you can to, you know, clear that out. You might need some meditations, okay, maybe even some solfeggios or binaural beats or some other uh, sound healing, some frequency healing or sound bowls are helpful. You might need to do some sound baths, okay. Um, mulling over new ideas, travel, movement, you might need to get moving, you might have to travel, Strength, focus, learning, clarity, and knowledge, okay? So it's 
pretty much your, I'm seeing all your chakras from the solar plexus on up, basically, okay? And that would include your heart and your, your throat as well, okay? There's some blockages going on. And it may mean that you might need to connect with your higher self to do that, okay? Typically, that's what you have with the air element as well. Air in general might be actually very therapeutic for you at this time. Standing in breezes, winds, that sort of thing. In front of a fan, airflow, that kind of thing, all right? You also have 888 on the light side. Okay, just means mind, body, soul alignment might be needed at this time. Um, you'll have some abundance and earned wealth. Your physical will improve and pro progress. You'll have success in that, okay? Um, also look for 888 out there in the world and the color yellow predominantly to get ideas of where else to go, okay? That'll be, that'll be the universe's way of saying, yes, this thing is for you, okay? If you see that somewhere. All right, let's get you some Life Purpose Oracle for more ideas. All right, first one out. You have Healer. You have a spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share with others. I also see the doctor there, so maybe seeing a physician would be helpful at this time. But this could also mean, you know, Reiki or massage or um, acupuncture or whatever as well. Something more tangible healing, right? More touchy, touchy. Oh, all right, that's good. All right, what do we have here? We have justice, okay? So whatever is fair and protection oriented as well. There may be something out there, maybe there's a job out there that's more physical um, that will allow you the opportunity to sit there and think and focus, learn, maybe even have that confidence as well as the strength and get you moving and ro roving about like sort of like a, I'm just looking at the fairness and protection. Um, the only thing I can really like share is my own personal experience in the private security industry. Being a stationary guard, we often walked around a lot of large properties and I had a lot of time to myself to think and observe and just walk around because there's really nothing going on uh, in between patrols, I guess. <laughs> Hitting the DTEX buttons, making sure things were locked up and everything was hunky-dory. I was most of the time I was just standing out there enjoying the night air, you know, I was still being protective because, you know, I was a visual deterrent. Um, but I spent most of my time just thinking and, and, you know, mulling over ideas and coming up with new things and, and also just having much peace of mind. So maybe there is some sort of activity or job or charity thing that can be done that's similar to that. All uh, right. Because that would tie it all together. You also have infinite abundance here. And what I'm really focusing on here is the cornucopia. So diet, fruits and vegetables. Fruits especially might be important at this time, okay? Focusing on fruit. Energy healing. Abilities, another part of it. And that includes all chakra work as well as Reiki and all of that too. Sound bath. Artist, getting more in delve into physical artistry. You know, especially with like painting, right? Like getting your hands in things, uh, pottery, that sort of thing. That could be beneficial as well at this time. Flowers, working with flowers. This could also just be gardens as well. Getting your hands in the dirt, working with Gaia would be extremely helpful and grounding to you at this time. And speaker. Ooh, you could also just be using your voice, singing, that sort of thing. That actually also really helps with the solar plexus, okay? That really does. Especially anything that involves like shamanic drumming. Any kind of like drumming or bass is really like the thing that I respond to most. And it's only because I'm clairaudient. So it may be different for you. You might respond to like wind instruments or chimes or something, okay? But something where you can sing along or hum along to it or even just speak. 
public speaking might be something that would be good for your physical being as well. You're getting the energy moving through your body anyway, which eventually assists with your physical. So that may be something to incorporate. All right, let's get some from the mermaids here. What else for Pisces spirit? Still taking it. These are great ideas. All right. First one out, you have Dive Deep. This is a card of shadow work, okay? And really tackling some darker energy, okay? Uh, the harder stuff to tackle. Um, this may be extreme detox as well, okay? So it's like if you... Just trying to think of some shadows here. Let's say you're battling... Um, I don't know, a habit that involves food or something you ingest or put into your body, this would be a time to tackle that, okay? Um, maybe it's incorrect medications or maybe you're switching medications and your body's having a hard time adverse reaction to that. Uh, whatever the situation is, right? Like maybe you used to be an alcoholic or something, right? That would be a shadow to work on at this time. Now, this card is also a card of, de of swimming, like going for a swim as well, literally taking a dive. <laughs> so maybe being in water at this time would be really, really helpful for you as well. Not necessarily swimming. You could be doing some like low impact kind of movement into water. It could be just in your bathtub, you know, so if you don't have access to a pool or the ocean or a lake or something, okay. Memories, activities you did do, but maybe might have forgotten about, okay. That's what I'm seeing with this card here, okay? Perhaps anything with friends, <laughs> or you might be doing activities with friends. Moving forward, this always makes me think of like treadmills, right? Or walking, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be running. It could be just doing a walking meditation. Go with the flow. could also be just wherever the current takes you, right? So maybe just swimming or something as well. Maybe in moving water. Um, this could also just be just go with the flow, like go into whatever activities you want to do because there may be some downloads along the way. Okay. Waiting. This is a card of deciding whether or not to make a move or not to meet your ships out halfway. Where's the ship? Right there, that tiny little thing. Okay. So you might have to swim and meet things halfway. Okay. Kind of negotiate, have diplomacy, right, in whatever choices you're making. Um, you might have to make a sacrifice for something that will work for you. It's worth trying, though, okay? It's better than just sitting around waiting to receive it. You're going after it. Again, another card of going with the flow, just accepting and being happy and joyful in the moment. Maybe some mindfulness meditations would help at this time as well. You have gentleness, just being patient and gentle with yourself, okay? Just allow the light to take you wherever you need to go in terms of healing your physical being. Don't try to push it too hard. Go with the flow. Trust your inner guidance, okay? As well as any signs and things from the universe around you. Again, that same thing, all right, with your awareness there. It's also your discernment and your intuition and just being completely aware now, there may be activities where you could be watching, right, observing, um, maybe doing some grounding exercises, right? This may actually be something that you could do to develop more clairs as well, using the physical environment as well. All right. You do have that focus there. So maybe there's a real observant kind of mode you need to be in physically. All right, we'll get a few from Izzy Stuck here. This is 
great deck, guys. You should get him. <laughs> it's good for a lot of little things, I've noticed. Or just on its own. All right, you have co-parenting. That's here. Now I see that as work-life balance, right? Overall balance. So you might have to like worry about scheduling things, okay? Doing like five minutes here, five minutes there type stuff. Okay. Yep, especially with this run up, done, get done up and pity party energy. Let's get another one. So be mindful of your emotional balance at this time. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. So you have group situations here. I'm more seeing the um, seals on this card. Um, run up could get done up could be don't move too fast, right? Like maybe you have to do some slow moving exercises or slow movement kind of uh, physical activities. Okay, at this time. Maybe activities that you have to be low on, towards the ground on or down, right? Like maybe stretches and things of that nature. Yoga poses, Tai Chi, that sort of thing. All right, let's get a couple from the New Orleans Oracle. The co-parenting card could also be shared self-care or uh, just not self-care, but shared kind of activities with others that are also doing holistic stuff pairing up to do it, right? Pull some here. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let me grab the book. I know a lot of these have suggestions. They're really great. Okay. First card out, you have 22 Speak Your Truth. Of course, that is the speaker card right there. Twos are also about choices and partnerships as well as maintaining a balance as well, okay? And that may be a master number two that you'll see as well. You have 19 abundance, do things that make you feel happy and help fill up your cup, okay? Especially if um, you're noticing that your cup is getting depleted a lot, you know, like especially if you're in a situation, a family situation, um, where there's just a lot of energy pulling on you at the moment, okay? Make sure you fill up your cup, self-care is important. That would be like the ace of cups, right? Um, so if you notice that your cups are just constantly getting knocked over, then maybe it's time to take some change in your environment to kind of mitigate that, right? And especially if you've got people doing it deliberately, right? I'm also seeing that with the run up, get done up, pity party, and someone is down low. So if you've got energy vampires around you, it's time to start cutting cords on that right? And sort of disconnect your energy for a little bit. Now I understand you can't do that with everybody, uh, but you just started to, you start to mitigate it. Okay. Um, and establish boundaries where possible. Okay. Um, if, if it's something that you can do without for a couple of days, then do that. If you need to take a vacay overnight somewhere for a few days, do that. All right. 27 intuition. Your intuition is going to be hugely helpful at this time. Okay. And that may clear up once you clear up all your upper chakras as well, because that's tied in with your third eye and your crown. So you may be getting some more ideas through that as well. Okay. Especially if you need any artistic inspiration and figuring out where, where the best choice is for your, like if you're changing jobs or something, you're just not happy with work, right? Or maybe you want to try something different, move to a new location, whatever that may be. 18, peace. Very important to maintain that. 16, companionship. This is all about gatherings and getting togethers, okay? So your friendships could be part of that as well. There could be some celebratory physical activities that would be very good for your mind, body, and soul right now in the physical. You have 32, growth. And I'm really seeing water with that. Uh, Empress vibes, sacral chakra healing. I'm seeing um, birthing new ideas. 
a lot of green, that's your heart chakra, a lot of blue, that's your throat chakra. And she's got that aurora around her, that yellow aurora, allowing her to tap in. So her heart chakra is there. She's got light coming out from that, as well as her third eye. So there may be some deeper connection um, as you kind of heal up your energy in the physical, you'll be able to like spiritually grow, right? And that may unlock more opportunities for abundance for you, okay? Then you have body balance, number 17. And this one has tons of great suggestions. Okay, so think of your body as a plant, right? Again, with the gardening reference. Just as a plant needs a certain amount of sunlight, water, and suitable environment to grow and be healthy, your, bro your body requires proper nourishment in order to thrive. So get more sun, be in water, drink more water, okay? Um, and eat well. Proper nourishment, right? Now, I'm already seeing it with the chakra system, okay? There may be foods, and I would look up a chart for that. There's foods out there that are actually extremely beneficial for each of your chakras, and I would focus on all the ones for your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, and your crown, okay? Um, just pick a couple foods off of each of those lists that you know you will like to eat, okay? And make sure you incorporate like 100 calories of each every day, okay? That will help balance out your chakra system as well and give you some more nutrition as well, okay? The balance of body can be affected not only by what we eat, but also what we think, okay? And the surroundings that we find ourselves in, right? So if you're in this energy, that's going to affect you negatively in the physical. It always manifests in the physical, and it's supposed to teach you what's good for you, what's not good for you, and to stay away from what's not good for you, right? What's low vibration, what's high vibrational. Especially if you're in a period of growth and you're ascending, right? You certainly aren't going to be able to hold on to low vibrational energies as you do that. It's just going to be dead weight, essentially. You know, you might have to cut ties with some folks, disconnect for a little bit. It may only take a couple months or a few months to kind of get your energy on point. So maybe if you have the ability to do a retreat of some sort or go someplace else for a couple of months or a few months, shoot, even a few weeks will make a wor world of difference. You know, a couple weeks, okay? You'd be surprised how your energy can bounce back when you have fresh energy coming back to a situation, all right? And then you can kind of see if you can work on negotiating and uh, using diplomacy in this situation because you do have that co-parenting card there and you really do need that okay <laughs> two different households share the same kid kind of situation yeah of course you're gonna have to organize schedules okay make sure everybody has time with each other all right do a lot of back and forth all right it's time to support your body by bringing it into a higher vibration during this time, it is recommended that you incorporate more natural and raw foods such as salads and green juices or smoothies into your diet. Exploring mind, body, and spirit practices such as yoga, tai chi, or qigong, and spending more time in nature will also help you find the balance that your body craves, okay? Luckily, we have a lot of free resources for that. <laughs> I can't speak for everybody, but... You know, if you're in a metropolitan city, there's usually someone by donation doing yoga, you know, classes of sorts, right? Okay. Let's pull from the Ancestor Spirit Oracle. See what other suggestions we have for you. We're just going to do a few spirits. Make sure we have some space. All right. Love it. Okay, I see why you need to raise your vibration. <laughs> oh, and just in time, because these portals are coming up quick, you might need to do it before a portal opens. Okay, let's do that one first. All right. Be an open channel. Mediumship, ancestors, and spirits. The main portals, when the veil is super thin, and you can actually psychically connect with ancestors and higher dimensionals in general. Okay, this includes higher selves too. 
um, the main portals are Beltane, Lion's Gate. Oh yeah, and 1111. <laughs> How can you forget 1111? Okay. I know there's more than that, okay? But those are like the main, main ones, right? Um, I'm trying to think if there's one more. There may be. Yeah, so Lion's Gate is 8-8, eight, eight, okay? Um, yeah, there are other portals, I'm sure. But those are like the big, big, big ones, right? Where the veil is super, super, super thin, 14 days before and after, okay? And it peaks. So you may have a deadline here with your physical, okay, to get your, your vibration raised. Because this tells me that spirit's giving you a hint, hint, nudge, nudge of what's coming down the pipeline. Talk about abundance and knowing truth and into all these things are going to be incorporated into this particular uh, task, right? You may be able to connect with ancestors and, you know, learn more cool stuff about what your higher self wants for you in this lifetime, right? But you need to be of a high vibration to do that, okay? It's often really hard to connect with them if you're in this frequency, okay? So... You might have to clear that out somehow, all right? You also have respect your physical body, detox, rejuvenate, and relax. And get into nature, coexistence, gather, and limit waste. All right. So working with nature will be really helpful. And moving your body, dance, breathe, and flow. Okay. Love it. Right, let's see where, what other avenues, areas of life. Pisces can focus on. We're using the Kipper. Could also alert as to what's creating imbalances in your body physically. Everything that happens in the physical starts in the spiritual. So it could be spiritual, it could be mental as well. Okay. And emotional. Okay. Looking like it's mental. <laughs> so in your thoughts, things you've been thinking about already. Things that, you know, when you think about them, make you happy, right? That's what you should be going for. All right? High vibe. Okay. Could also be changing your thoughts about something. Maybe you're thinking too negatively about something, right? Especially if you're thinking about something that, you know, you used to be really happy thinking about and now you're kind of bummed about because maybe you have regrets or something, right? Or... Maybe they weren't interested, right? So change could also be about movement. I'm also seeing, you know, hopping into a car, going somewhere locally. Could be around horses. That's another possibility as well. 16, 7, and 9 may be significant. And it could be something as simple as just a change in thoughts, right? Something you really love, right? Enjoy. Um, I also see this just as a passion, creative. You also have sacral chakra too. Um, heart chakra, 15 breaks down to a six, might be significant. Could be partnering up with friends. I also see that as well. Something official. Ooh, okay, I'm going to have to get that, that book for you. Because there's a lot of keywords there that can mean a lot of things. All right, a military is an official person. 22 might be significant as well. You have that 22, 22 twice. All right. Ceremony, pomp, hierarchy, regiments, and order. All right. Maybe in a situation where you're not in control, someone else is giving the orders. That could be a hint. When this card isn't an actual military officer, he could be an official such as a policeman or judge. He might be unapproachable and intimidating if he isn't a friend or relative of, of you. But the card also sometimes acts as an exclamation point describing neighboring card as official. So like whatever your thoughts are of change and whatever you most love, that's the exclamation point. Do that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Maybe something with strict rules of daily life, power or authority are required, involved in a relationship that's characterized by restraint and formality, 
perhaps an ambitious person in your job. So this could also indicate the person that you'd be working, any new friends, right? Um, that might be in an official capacity, right? Like they might have a law enforcement job or, hmm, fairness and protection with that justice. They might actually be in the legal profession somewhere, okay? Is there anything else? The official person says that you should be more determined and focused on following your goals. Okay. That's another little tidbit there. All right. Let's pull one last from the doggo tarot for Pisces, please spirit. Anything else? That is this way. All right. You have the earth alpha female that is the queen of pentacles in this deck taurus virgo capricorn someone placements so you might need to be in this sort of i wouldn't say baby emperor she's um the empress understudy <laughs> okay energy okay sort of mommy yourself kind of baby yourself take care of yourself nurture yourself okay um, gather your strength, your self-esteem, all right? She is a person who can is well-to-do. Uh, she doesn't lack self-esteem. She's got it made. She can take care of herself. I'm getting to it here. Nurturing, career-oriented, devoted, prosperous, successful, practical, and resourceful, okay? Nurturing your pack is a joy for you as you offer the comforts of hearth and home to those around you. You're happy to provide material, advisory, and emotional support, and you have the resources to back it up. Your stability and prosperity are only equaled by your resourcefulness and practical nature. While you're busy with career and caring for others, keep your own life in balance. Okay, so she's also a queen of knowing how to take care of herself too, right? So be mindful that might be the energy you need to be in, okay? Just keep everything, work, life, love, everything balanced, okay? Um, and if you're finding an imbalance somewhere that's just out of alignment with you, you might need to cleanse it out so that you're prepared for next level stuff, right? You got that growth going on. There you go, Pisces. Hopefully that helps. Follow your other placements. Bye. All right, Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Let's see what spirit has for you regarding your physical health, whatever healing inspiration you might need tangible to do possibly what is happening with regards to that what you're needing to do at this time possibly why all right you have 888 on the light side regarding tangible things right earned wealth abundance mind body soul alignment success and progress okay you may need to be focusing on that. You also have gray silver, tapping into your feminine energy to heal, working with the moon, paying attention to what's in your dreams, maybe being immersed more in water or following any of, or figuring out where in your chart water is. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that may have something significant to do with this. Telepathy might be a thing at this time reflection emotions psychic abilities intuition and balance okay all right Let's see what you got from life purpose oracle spirit thank you thank you one more First one out, you have talked to your angels instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. That's tapping into your intuition. Okay. Trust, trust your feelings and dreams to guide, to guide you on this, to figure out what you need to do next. Okay. Energy healing. Energy healing abilities are going to be important at this time. So maybe some energy healing practices. You're on the right path. Keep doing what you're already doing as well, because it's already working. Okay art artist okay could be very healing for you at this time okay and maybe even get you prepared for some more abundance right and happiness in the physical travel 
may be very important at this time as well, okay? Uh, that could be local travel. Um, if finances are tight, you could just think locally, right? Vacation type of thing. Let's see what else. There we go. We Hold on here. Oh my goodness. Water, water. Earth. Yeah, that's not a flying. All right. Half these cards are water animals. Okay, so water is going to be huge for you at this time. Baths, pools, swimming, oceans, lakes, dipping in the stream, dipping your feet in water. Drinking water, okay? You have Manatee Dugong. Accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. So, again, go with the flow, right? Maybe wherever the current takes you. Octopus. Practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. That could be a fun thing to do in general. You know, play dress-up, cosplay, whatever, okay? Boar, pig, face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious, all right? I see that as a solar plexus healing. So maybe more activities that gain you some, you know, conquering some fears perhaps might be a good one. Grouse, express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. Pretty self-explanatory. You have shark, trust your instincts to discern the truth of a situation. So this would have you getting out, really testing your intuitive abilities as well. I'm seeing a lot of getting out, doing things, right? You've got travel here. So like engaging with the public a lot, okay? Snow leopard, take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. Now, this could mean getting you out of the house if you've been stuck in the house and going out to a spot in nature just to be alone and kick it with Gaia. Um that could be an indication, too, that you need to get moving and get out in public and be around others, right? Or just, you know, everyday life, you know, in general. More nature, uh, more group activities. I'm definitely seeing that with practice shape shifting here, too. And that could be something, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything where you dress up and do a physical activity. That could be just like theater work, right? Um or, or where you play a character, right? Or where you just move around and meet new people that you've never met before, right? All right, so we're going to pull from the mermaids. All right. Okay. All right. All right. This bit a lot, but we'll get through it. All right. It's hard to figure out the order it was in, but that's all right. You have communication. All right. So you might have to like communicate to coordinate things. Okay. Uh, this could also just be an indication you might need to work on your throat chakra. Okay. You also have memories, so maybe check out from what you remember, enjoy doing physically that you haven't done in a while that you miss. Maybe that would be a good time to reincorporate those into your daily routines and practices. Um, something about pictures. Maybe there's pictures of you doing these activities, okay? Um, or someone else that you had seen doing these activities that you wanted to try out but chickened out on or something like that, okay? Something from your past, your inner childhood. Maybe something that your, your, your young self would have enjoyed really doing. Maybe it's time to start doing some more inner childhood oriented type of play as well. I'm seeing that. Gratitude exercises would be helpful at this time. Paying attention to your dreams. Maybe even do some really intensive um, meditations that get you into a dream state. Contentment, just being joyous and being positive. Trying to flip the script on negative thoughts. Um, doing happy things, right? Maybe even being out in the sun, right? 
she is kind of out there and out of the water. In fact, no, she's not the only one that's out of the water. Okay. <laughs> you have two more. <laughs> you have waiting here. So this is an, a choice of whether or not you want to swim out to your ships halfway and meet them halfway, right? Um, or if you're just going to sit there and wait, right? Um, maybe whatever you've been happy about in your dreams, you're thankful to think of, right? If you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to come in, it might be time to go meet your ships halfway. Get out of the house, right? And go into solitude for self and just kind of take that leap of faith, right? So you have solitude here as well. Although she's still underwater. I did notice that. <laughs> There's the top. <laughs> All right. So just kind of kick it with your thoughts too, but be out in nature. You see, she's not hanging out in her little mermaid cave. Okay, <laughs> she's out in open ocean, just hanging out with everybody else. That's her nature, okay? That's her park. It's the bottom of the sea somewhere. And she found a spot just to be by herself with her bubble earrings. I just noticed those. How cute. All right, so you may need to do that. I'm getting a lot of meditative kind of practices as well. The ones that get you to go outside travel somewhere to do it, okay? With that energy healing as well. You may need Gaia's help at this time. You may need to get your feet in the grass and hug a tree and just be there and kind of work on your earth star chakra, okay? Connect to her and be more direct. You can only go so far sitting in your bedroom, all right? Sometimes it really helps to actually touch earth doing it. Get a, a few from Izzy's deck here. Anything else? Okay. Something known. Something you already know about. Something that you've already recognized. I do see the tree there. And music may be significant. I'm also seeing dancing, performing. Again, okay, that's shape-shifting. Getting moving, okay. All right, that should be good. Wherever Scorpio is in your chart as well, okay, this will be transformative, all right? And something that you've idealized, perhaps, or had hoped it would come to fruition for you, okay? An activity that you only dared to dream, right? It's picture perfect. But it's something tangible you can have. You just need to go for it, right? Let's see from the one who needs Oracle, anything else, Spirit? Uh, no more than six. And one, two, three, four, five. One more. All right. All right. You have body balance. This talks about doing Tai Chi, Qigong, changing up your diet, maybe eating more chakra-related foods would be helpful at this time getting more sun, drinking lots more water, being in more water, okay? So that could include your spiritual baths as well, okay? That's just all around mind, body, soul balance, okay? Number six, you got gratitude again. I also see activities that are fun. This uh, shows a parade of a special holiday, another holiday in uh, New Orleans other than Mardi Gras, okay? I forget the name of it, but... It's where, you know, every, the community comes together to celebrate and be grateful for what they have and just, just to be joyous and fun, okay? You have number 10, Lanyap, that is a gift. So giving yourself the gift of rest, also being submerged in water there. Maybe baths are really essential right now for you, okay? 21, learning. This is all about learning what you can do with your body, your aura, your energy, your physical being, okay? Specifically through the use of your throat chakra, your third eye, and your crown. <laughs> okay. Gaining spiritual knowledge with number 29 here, all right? 
There may be some gifts in the tangible as you do these activities that will pop up as well. And just keep moving forward, right? Keep going, 24, one step ahead of the other. This could indicate more walking rather than running, right? So maybe a slow pace for you, okay, to start with. A stroll. Those walking meditations are good, too. Or shoot, just walking with, listening to solfeggios, you know, that kind of music, right? Or shamanic drumming or something. Tibetan bowls, crystal bowls, sound baths, chimes. All right, let's get you some from the Ancestor Spirit. I think we have room for three. Spirit, do three for Virgo, please. Right. All right, we actually have four. I'm taking them about the same anyway. First one out, you have connect with past loved ones, sense, feel, and reconnect. This could just mean anything from your heritage. Maybe there's something from your heritage and maybe an ancestor really enjoyed doing. I'm getting more of a sense of immediate ancestors, not any that you would have never met, right? Maybe there were some activities that were very healing for them that worked that you should be trying, okay? Go with the flow, let go, rest, manifest. Hang out, retreat, okay? You also have nature spirits, specifically having to do with rock formations because of elves and fairies and the elementals, okay? I'm also seeing waterfalls, lakes, that sort of thing as well, forests, can be also very important, but rocks, anywhere there's rocks would be really helpful for you at this time, okay? And you have notice the signs, investigate symbols and nature spirits again, okay? So there's going to be things happening. You're going to see signs and synchronicities in threes, okay? That's typically what happens when you, you see the Trisculeon, okay? Um, that's what this card means, is they'll Things will happen in threes in nature as symbols and synchronicities for you so that you can learn and maybe you'll pick up some new gifts and knowledge, okay, as you do these things. So pay attention to that as well. That could also be part of the um, trusting your instincts to discern the truth of the situation as well, okay. I thought I saw another one too that had something to do with that. Divine guidance, the sub ring, follow signs. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your, your path. Okay, I knew I saw it. All right, let's get four from the Kipper. Get a general idea of area. Let me try and stick that there. There we go. What this could be about as well. Frame of reference for our Virgos. I just burped, so yes, absolutely on the solar plexus and throat chakra clean now. <laughs> Let's get two more spirit. <laughs> One more. All right. Okay, so you're going to be meeting new acquaintances. Maybe there's new activities that you'll be doing with people in, Nate and, um, in the community, okay? Number four might be significant. You also have 31, which also breaks down to a four, okay? Nice. Four is about stability, foundation, and protection. So it's definitely going to be stable for you doing this. You'll be fine going through this. You have the short illness card, but I see that it's just the general health card. It could also be rest, relaxation, um, maybe doing sensual activities because it does indicate that, all right? Self-sensual. <laughs> could also just be tapping into your, your inner empress, right? Your, and your sacral chakra too for some self-love in that department. You also have number 10 here, journey. There's your travel, okay? So maybe there should be I don't know, maybe hot air balloons might be a fun activity for you, all right? And 34, occupation, 34 breaks down to a 7. 
an occupation also talks about hobbies, you know, things that you really enjoy and love doing, okay? So then maybe there might be some hobbies you want to do or some artistic activities, right? That would be very physically assertive and good for your whole overall being. Just get the energy moving. You'll be fine, all right? Do things you enjoy doing. You've got that contentment there as a go-ahead. Maybe something you've been wishing to do again with this picture perfect. Something that had been in your memories. Okay. Let's get one from the Doggo Tarot. Final guidance. That one wanted to prop itself up. You have the Seven of Sky in the reverse. That's the Seven of Swords. Okay. In the upright, it's about deception, trickery, you know, verbal con artist behavior, that sort of thing. Um, in the reverse, it could be coming to truth, coming to terms with things, right? All right. Revealing, conscience, plot unveiled, truth exposed, okay? If there's a problem that you're dealing with, it might be better to work through it using open communication and honesty rather than plotting behind the scenes. And of course, you could be on the receiving end of this as well. Carry yourself above board and you'll earn the respect of others. Double dealing can harm your reputation irrevo irrevocably. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know why I can't say that word right now. So what I'm getting from that really is just being true to yourself, right? Um, and really tapping into what you need at this time, all right? Perhaps there's been too much bickering and, you know, shady behavior at home. And getting you out of the house will get you away from that low vibrational energy anyway so that you can properly cleanse and then protect your energy, okay, before going back home. You may need to do this every single day or especially on the days that might get heated, right? Um, and also, you know, the plot that could be revealed is perhaps where you're going with this learning and this spiritual knowledge, but you're only going to have the plot unveiled out there, you know, while you're actually doing these things to, you know, balance out your, your body, your physical health and being, okay? Which in turn will help your mental, which in turn will help your spiritual, okay? So you work it frontwards, backwards, okay? Maybe these are some of the things that you could be doing at the moment. Scorpio energy is very transformative, okay? So whatever plot is being unveiled could very well be uh, your purpose coming to light, right? Becoming enlightened even more so than you were yesterday kind of thing, okay? Something that's going to be hugely helpful for your light quotient so that you can handle healing of harder things, right? But you might need to spend some time doing the, these practices and get yourself prepared, your energy prepared, right? Because there's a sense of waiting for something big on the horizon. And you're going to have to do some work, okay? And there's a lot of suggestions here that would be hugely beneficial for your solar plexus, your sacral, um, and all your chakras, essentially, your whole system, okay? There you go, Virgo. That's what I have for you. Check your other placements for more insight, okay? Bye.